Hello everyone, this is the Helios Raven's Nest. I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. I got a letter a couple of days ago, and I just wanted to um, read it out loud to you. And it's from a gentleman known as Fortress Monastery. And he writes, Dear Helios Raven, I was just wondering, how do you get your Valkyrie to fit into a foam tray? Okay, now let me ask you something, Fortress Monastery. What makes you think I have a Valkyrie? To be perfectly honest, I mean... I've never mentioned it, I mean, I don't get why you think I have one. The only thing I can think is, is because you saw me painting a bunch of Imperial Guards before, so is it because I painted Imperial Guards on this on a video that you just assume I have one? You know, why would you think that? That's that's terrible. That's That's stereotyping right there, my good friend. I mean, just because I've got a battalion um, armor tr armor carry transport, a bane blade, a soon to be hex blade, and an imperial an Im a Mars pattern imperial warhound titan on the top of my Christmas list doesn't mean that I have a Valkyrie. And to be perfectly honest, I don't have a Valkyrie, so I can't show you how I d put it in a foam tray case. But I'm gonna do a video about something instead. I'm gonna teach you how I put my vendetta into a foam tray case. Now, yeah, it's a little unfinished. You can see it's only got one wing on and it doesn't have the weapons on it yet. Um, that's because I wanted to give you a um, video before, before it gets too late since my last one. But I do have the Forge World Valkyrie um, conversion kit. Um, you can see right there, there's the um, setup for it. And this is how we are going to get this thing to fit in a foam tray case. Now, I'm sure people are pretty much aware that the obvious choice is the to make the wings detachable. Um, as you probably guessed, they are magnetized. As you can see, Errol, excuse me, getting a little bit closer. See, there's two er, um, magnets, one there, one there. And I put two in the wing, but to be perfectly honest, I think this is not a good setup, so I'm going to do a little something different on camera for you guys. Um, this is what we're going to do. It's going to require your Valkyrie or Vendetta or whatever you decide to um, make it. The wing. A drill. And a bunch of magnets. Now, I got these from a place called... Um, Magcraft. There's a couple of different places where you can go to get them. So, we're, pick, pick your poison wherever you want to go to get them. So, what we're going to do is this. We're also going to need some paper clips because they actually are pretty good at being unmagnetized. So, let's see. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get a heavy duty one just because it's um the wing. You can, uh, you can use a heavy duty one or even surprisingly the um, very thin ones work. It's really all just a matter of um, how they are magnetized. Like here, look, see? Right there. Boom. Now, okay, before I continue, if people are wondering what that is in the background, that is the movie Dragon Slayer. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. One of the best dragon special effects using stop motion I've ever seen. All right, back to the video at hand. Okay. I purchased for this particular um, model the the uh, rod magnets, more because they get into the um, sides of the Valkyrie a little bit easier and give a little bit more support than the um, than the round ones. And the round ones, you know, they are a little bit tough to find one that's the perfect size. So I went with these. So now that we've got the magnets set up, what we do is take our drill and we're going to drill two holes. The first one is going to go right in there. The second one is going to go in that little bump. So here we go. The holes are drilled. Now before you move on, you take one magnet and measure just to make sure. What you want to get is you want the magnet to be pretty 
pretty much flush with the back of the wall in that groove. That way the wings don't protrude out any more than um, they're supposed to. Okay, so we take our magnet and you just place it in the hole and you see if it goes flush. Okay, the magnets fit. So, what we do next is we take a little bit of Zappa Gap and we put it in the hole and then we place the magnets. And they are pretty powerful. Um, I'll just show you, for example, like here, there's a magnet here for uh, my weapon turret. It's actually sticking right through and the magnet's way down there. So here. So it's got a pretty good pull force on it. It's got about two pounds. They can, these guys, I think, can support about two pounds. Now, while we let those magnets dry, we're going to prepare the wing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper clip and place it along the side here. We're going to place one right in there and one right in there. Just because it's a little bit easier than putting it all the way down and since the magnets are right there there's no point in putting them so long the whole wing. So what we're gonna do is we take a knife. Um, I try to find nice sharp box cutter because it cuts through the plastic really easily and you just make a small cut right there. Now that the grooves have been cut, I'm going to take a paper clip and glue it into the grooves. Okay, and I'll be back when this dries, because this is going to take a little bit. Okay, so, see you in a few minutes. Hello everyone, um, we're back, and all the glue is dried, and just to give a demonstration of just how strong these um, paper clips will hold, here's them using attaching the other wing. See? It will actually hold up the... See, it's, it swings a little bit, but when we get into the grooves, it will um, hold up pretty well. And so, there we go. And now, and that is it. We make sure that the um, thing will fit. Okay, it requires a little bit of trimming, but a little bit of a um, little bit of trimming, and it will be done. So, like we show, I'll show on, demonstrate on the other one, just pops in, and you're set to go. The same trick is going to be used for my um, twin link glass cannons um, that I've got. I'm going to put a paper clip, see, um, I might take the, um, I took the groove and I cut it to fit within the magnet. There's going to be a paper clip that sits right there, and once it's done, it'll sit There we go, and it's going to fit just like that once the magnets are on, um, once the paper clip is there. So, there we go. Alright, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, video requests, um, please feel free to um, put them up on the board. You can check out my um, Google blog. There'll be um, a link at the end of the video. And just one more quick announcement, um, I got a video request for a Demon Hunters um, paint scheme. Unfortunately, I don't play Demon Hunters, but good news, one of my associates is going to start um, playing a Demon Hunters army. So I managed to get from him a Grey Knight Terminator with Psy Cannon, and so I will set up a video on how I would paint a Demon Hunter's army, but I promise I will have a video up. It'll be my next video that I do for um, this blog. So, this is Helios Raven, signing off.